Martha Stewart might not be a billionaire anymore, but being a multimillionaire will do. As of recent the famed entrepreneur has an estimated net worth of $400 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Forever associated with the world of cooking and lifestyle, the 82-year-old made her true claim to fame in 1990, when she launched her own self-named magazine, Martha Stewart Living, and deemed herself the editor-in-chief. Prior to creating her own publication, Stewart's career initially started as a fashion model, though it wasn't long before she started dabbling in finance and stocks. In 1970, the mom of one who shares her daughter, Alexis, 58, with her ex-husband, Andrew Stewart, became involved in the catering business, where wealthy New Yorkers noticed her knack for cooking and the detailed presentation of her food. Eventually, Stewart gained enough experience in the industry to write and publish her first cookbook, Entertaining, in 1982. The book was a bestseller, landing her television appearances and eventually her own show, Martha Stewart Living, which aired for over a decade and sealed her status as one of a kind. Her hit show leads Stewart to establishing Martha Stewart Living Omni Media, MSLO, a company focused on publishing, media platforms and merchandising product lines. The launch of Stewart's company quickly turned into a great success. At its height of prosperity, the business conglomerate had an explosive IPO, and on the day MSLO went public in 1999, Stewart became the first American self-made female billionaire. Unfortunately, this elite status didn't last, as her company's stock prices plummeted by more than 50% in 2002, in turn taking away her billionaire title. Stewart ultimately sold her company for more than $350 million in 2015, but not before her business ventures landed the A-lister behind bars for five months. In 2003, the cookbook author was indicted by the government on nine counts, prompting her to step down as CEO and chairwoman of MSLO. She was found guilty in March 2004 on felony charges of conspiracy, obstruction of an agency proceeding, and making false statements to federal investigators. On top of serving nearly half a year in prison, Stewart spent two years under supervised release and was ordered to pay a fine of $30,000. Many were shocked when MSLO stock prices doubled while Stewart was in jail, temporarily making her a billionaire once again. The financial status was short-lived, however, as the stocks once again went down by 47% within six months after her release, at the time dropping her net worth back down to $500 million.